Here is the second half of my Pick-A-Brick haul, and this is from their Pick-A-Brick Standard Edition, and it came in today. Um, Thanksgiving is approaching real soon, so I can't use the uh, workbench. So we're going to have to do everything a little bit mobile. I'm doing it on a bed this time, so things may get bouncy-bouncy. Let me pull the receipts out of there first. Okay. Well, I can recycle that. And, yeah, first thing I got here is some cupboards. And some 8 by 16 plates. Oh, we're going to take a look at everything here in a second. And a big bag of parts. Now, I have never done this portable portable before so if you hear things clinking around or you hear me uh, bumping into the microphone then it, it is what it is these are ziplocs too so i can use those for a uh, all right okay. so i'm using the the ring light and all that stuff i'm hoping this turns out okay now remember my campground i needed some of these Okay, so I ordered a few of them, and I have doors for these 1x6x5, or no, my 2x3x5 cupboards. I got them in white and bright orange. Why? I never know. I may use them for closets or refrigerators. Remember my 1970s kitchen? I actually needed this. Well, <laughs> that's a little too late now for that, but there it is. So I got five of each. And let's unbag this one here. Yeah, I've never done this on a never done this like this before, so this is new. <laughs> and then alright, so I got some I didn't even know I had these. They're uh, the uh, medium nougat plates for the for soil and stuff. And remember that big, large jack-o'-lantern that I've built and sold many copies of? That's the remaining parts of it. Tells you this was from October. Well, here it is almost the end of November, and I got a bunch of 2 by 3s Now, if you watch my second channel, you probably already know that these were the parts I was missing for some builds. Some of these wheel wells, mud guards, whatever Lego calls them. They're here. Unfortunately, I won't have the tutorial done by by this coming Friday. <laughs> I already have a substitute. I think you guys and gals will like it. Got some 4x6x2 by by thirds hood plates in tan. I need those. Also got some flame yellowish or shopping carts. I think I got five of these. I'm trying to get these in different colors. They're always cool to have. Right. And I also got some of these 2x2x1 two by two by one and 1 third outside corner brick with bow. Right for bedspreads or, or vans. Okay, I got the doors for the refrigerator. Like I said, this was supposed to be for the 1970s kitchen. Well, oh, that will always be a version two. Got some of these cake topper pieces, green. And I got some printed tiles. This is the compass thing. Let me get a little more comfortable here. Um, records. Some of the little doggy doors. Now I can't really see what I'm looking at here, so I'm hoping it's all in thing. And some 2x4x3 window frames. So I can't go any lower than that. Okay, good. All right, so I got a few of those. Some more of these in white. And some inside corner 3x3, three 25-degree three, slope roof tiles, roof slopes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm trying to gather those up as much as I can. Dark orange 2 by 3 plates. For some reason, I'll have a lot of those. And I'm getting some of these 25 degree slope dark red ridge tiles. Oh, there's some doors for those refrigerator pieces. And some earth green flower stems. Why did I get those? Well, because they're cool looking and and if you're building plants or something like that, it gives it a nice shadow effect. 
and some one by two by two corner flat tiles and some dark orange cupboard doors for the you know for for these not specifically for these but you can put these well butter fingers today I tell you they go in these type of frames they also work on the one by four by three frames too got these in uh, sand green oh, here's some uh, leaf pieces I didn't know I had these in my cart oh hazmat suit well, these actually have the visors built in. I already have the torso, so I grabbed that. I grabbed that, and one of these neon yellow so, uh, slides. I saw that and I thought, man, that'd be pretty cool because it's nice and bright. It'd be great for a playground slide. Uh, what am I going? Am I going to use it? I don't know. And I got some computer monitors. I got a couple of them in there. Uh, they're printed. Yeah, I got two of them. Always looking for those. And some of these medium nougat popsicles. Uh, <laughs> you can tell a lot of this stuff is meant for uh, the fall. Got a map piece. And for these tiles I was trying to show you earlier, there's five pieces to this in total. Got some of those doors in clear too. I'm trying to think of anything else in here. Here's another one of these. They're supposed to go to like a compass. And a thing with a bunch of ice cream on it. This would have been perfect for my custom ice cream truck. Well, I got one. Maybe two. Some bluish green doors. Really cool. And you all remember these. Uh, the cor uh, What was that? The cafe corner? I actually have this modular. It's long since been parted, but, you know, I have it. I could still rebuild it. And I got a couple of these tiles. These are always kind of cool, especially if you're building a like a Lego room that's scaled for Lego minifigures. I could put that in the back. Got another one of these. Trying to find the other parts. That here's the other part of the compass here. Also got some of the. Uh, I, no, I already talked about those. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do this on a little turntable. Boy, I just remembered I could just do this, huh? Just rotate around yeah so the records will come in handy I'm trying to see if there's any more to this I, I hope I did I hope I got all four of those tiles that go around that right there I may not have I don't know usually Lego's pretty good about packing everything in the box so there's one more there I'm used to doing this all on a bigger table but this is very crude, and I just need that last piece to go around it. There it is. What are you going to do that? use that for? Well, you'll have to see, but there you go. Kind of cool. And anything else in here worth mentioning? Just got the cupboards and some dark orange ingot tiles. 1970s kitchen. I was going to use those. Didn't have them, so I had to use the uh, reddish brown. So... A lot of this stuff here was for tutorials that I was currently working on. Just didn't have enough parts for. And for these, these are for some tutorials to come. Can't tell you yet. If you watch my second channel, you already know what I'm building. And it was hard to find these where they're low profile on the top. Some of them were sticking out way too far, and I thought, well, that ain't going to do me any good. <laughs> so these would look really good. The only thing is... I noticed I cannot uh, put a dually in the back. Well, I'll have to think of another solution for that. Well, that's a long ways down the road. I already have them anyways. These work good for a... Uh, you can put them together like this. They work good for travel trailers. That's why I got them as well. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for the parts haul. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. But tell me what you think about the parts this is. I know some of you really like it, but I don't get a lot of input on it. But tell me what you think of these parts. What do you think they're going to be used for? Yes, that's a lot of pieces, but <laughs> I'm always building stuff, and I need certain pieces to uh, complete projects here and there. And i got a bunch of tutorials to come, so stay tuned for those.